It makes a big hole where in during the winter it fills the hole with snow, then press with the foot, keep all winter doing this, ready for summer. It's no refrigeration at that time. So in June and summer, Harizzo, all the people living in Harizzo, resell the highs in all the part of Sardinia. In June and summer, he cut the highs in pieces and with the cut before and after with the horse, he bring in all the part of Sardinia was really hard work. Highs is no part of the ingredient of the carapinia. It just need highs to make carapinia. And now I'm going to introduce Marco. Marco is from Arezzo and he's going to show to us how to make Saccarapigna in the old traditional way. Marco, Nami. Come ti ascolti questa storia di Saccarapigna? Eh, Saccarapigna, Saccarapigna. Now it's going to be a story long, long, long de anos. So it's Carapigna, it's a long story for 900 years ago, roughly. And it's a traditional sorbet from Arezzo. So first thing we need the barrel. It's a wood barrel made or made, of course, in Sardinia. <laughs> then we're gonna need to cut the highs in little pieces just to put around and one big part to put in the bottom. So can the highs is gonna be really compact. We start to cut the lemon, we squeeze the lemon, then we add the, the, the water and the sugar. That's we stir a lot until it's come the proper liquid. Important part to make the sorbet. So the salt make sure the highs will go in low temperature.
grazie bello I did sorbet remind me Sardinia actually I miss a little bit but you can go in Sardinia just 45 minutes fly from Rome when you arrive you're gonna find a beautiful city in Cagliari if you arrive in Cagliari of course it's a beautiful and old city it's been dominated for a lot of people Spanish Portugal so a lot of traditional store in there and of course a lot of traditional cuisine in there especially if you go in the middle of the city in a beautiful and old restaurant it's called Sugumbido it can bring you back for 50 in eat the really traditional Sardinia food in the way it was cooking before then from Cagliari you can go all around and you can find in Oristana a beautiful wine like we showed before from Alessandro Contini then you can go and have eat a fresh seafood the best seafood in Sardinia only Renzo can make and he made the Fregula by Isent. That's a beautiful story. You can go in there. It's a really nice restaurant. Then we go back. We can go in Arizzo. Arizzo is my original town. Little village in the middle of the Mediterranean, in the middle of Sardinia, in the mountain. 800 meters up to the level of the sea. It's a beautiful place to be for holiday, for relax. You can go in my family hotel. I really suggest that, of course. <laughs> and in there you can find the internal food. So special, the little pig, it's called suckling pig in Australia. It's beautiful, cook, slow cook, three or four hours just to cook. And this suckling pig has come straight from the farmers. It's actually the same farmers during summer, you go in Cagliari and trade the highs and get back lemon. So get back to Arizzo, use the rest of the highs and go all around Sardinia to make carapina. That's the way I was working before and the way I'm still working now. So this is the sorbet, carapina. Mm. Amazing. Stefano, that sorbet was magnificent. Yeah, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for having me. Can I come back? You can come back when you want. <laughs> Grazie. I can show you more recipe from Sardinia. I can't wait. Grazie. Arrivederci. Thank you. Asibidi. Asibidi. <laughs>